Here's our bathroom switch, it's a light pull and it's been starting to fail on switch on and switch off, it's been getting stuck and then once it's stuck it's very difficult to free it up so I just thought I'd open it up to see what's inside and just two screws to open that up so normally this would be fixed to the ceiling like that and obviously you would just pull and you can actually see it is in the stuck position now uh, fairly straightforward We've got an L1 and L2 on a common so fairly basic and mm, forget what the brand was actually now probably El Cheapo PMS well there we are so let's open it up just to see what was failing I've since replaced it with a, a good branded unit and it feels much better turning the light on and off as well so Oh, here we go. Yeah. That looks a little bit on the damp side, doesn't it? Yeah, it looks like there's a piece of plastic stuck in there, doesn't it? Something's broken off. Yes. So we've got your terminals here. That's under a spring tension. And then when you pull this, I think it's supposed to um it's supposed to rotate in this housing. Yeah, so I think what it does is it is it turns, it rotates, and as it rotates, it'll connect against these terminals. And what's happened, as you can see, the piece has broken off. So there's the piece that's broken and got wedged in there, and that piece has come from there, I think. Yeah, snapped off snap from there so that's why I was getting stuck and that's why sometimes if you could you could you could free it momentarily until the next time so it's a bit, a bit funny color in there isn't it not quite sure if that was damp that's got in mm. Anyway, there's the piece. And that was off here, look. It's broken off there. That's how it should be. So that's snapped and then it's, it's obviously just got jammed up there. Oh, this is like a grease. I think it must be some sort of a particular type of grease. And there you can see these are slightly angled. So probably be in that position and then it would go like that possibly so I think it would rotate as you can see it kind of slides like that so the spring probably keeps it in the up position and then as you press it you get that movement there and that alternates between on and off quite some quite a strong spring try and mount it back These were in like this. Where's my other one gone? There we go. 
and you can actually see which one it's used because down here we've got quite a bit of black from the arcing as the power was applied and taken away. Get a focus camera. There we go. So yeah, you can see how it was sparking a little bit. Uh, this is the common, and that will be L1. I think I plumbed it into there. Plumbed it into L1, and then um, yeah, as it rotated around. You can see that went into there, didn't it? So let's go into here somehow. And the spring pushes it into there. Ah, oh, there we go. Look there. Right, it's slotted in now. So, yeah, the spring is under load, under tension. And then when you pull this, the string. I think what it does is it rotates like that and that would be on because you can see there L1 connecting to the common so it makes the circuit and then when you switch off the, the light again you switch it off so you pull the pull cord and that would probably go like that I guess so as you can see it's now lifted off no connection. Is there a is there a lift off mode? No, I, th I presume then it will just fire over to here because I don't know if it would stay in the up position because it always wants to fall back down. So there isn't like a. If this, yeah, you can actually feel the slopes on those little cams, so it always wants to change and, and sit back in. And of course, this is always going to be pressing it in. So, when you pull the light, you're pulling it out and allowing it to rotate, and then it wants to fall back into that position again. So, that's on. So, you can see the connection has been made from here all the way through to here, and when you switch it off. You're doing this motion, and then that breaks the contact, as you can see there, look. So electricity cannot flow from here to here. So, yeah, a bit more to it than I thought. There's a, another spring inside there, as you can see. So yeah, if we turn it back on again, it does that, makes the join. In there and there. See how the contacts press there. Do it again and then it will move over and go into that position there which breaks the circuit. So I think if you had another one here it would you could use that terminal but uh, yeah so there we are and that's what's caused it then. Piece broke off and got jammed in there. So yeah just to show you that's in the off position. So you can see the terminal is over there. And if I turn it, that will rotate over to here. So I switch back on again. And there we go. That's moved, that's rotated. And then if I rotate again, that will move over there. There we go. Okay, so I'll put it back together. Working fine now without that piece. But yeah, won't use it. So there we go inside one of these pool switches. Pretty groovy. Thanks for watching.